we're gonna make over this thrift store find. Um, it's a tray. I'm gonna put some decoupage cream paper. I'm actually gonna use this as a vignette. It's got a little bunny going on it. It's Easter week here at Totally Dazzled. And then I've got this cute little wooden house we're gonna add some bling wrap to. Okay. Anyway, guys, we are gonna paint this. I'm gonna wax it. I'm gonna give it some gold rub and buff. We've got some bling going on it, some rose gold bling from Totally Dazzled. And we've got some decoupage green paper and we are using the bling wrap um, from Totally Dazzled in the rose gold. So a little rose gold. And then we're gonna put this really pretty paper from the decoupage queen on it and this cute little bunny he's gonna get a crown and, and a bow and some bling and then I've got this cute little house we're gonna add some so it's gonna be like a little vignette for your table at um, at Easter time and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint this white first once it's probably gonna need another coat but I'm gonna hit it with some heat So see, there's my tray. So I am going to, so I'm just gonna use a brush dipped in some water. I do have to wash my brushes again. And all I'm gonna do is kind of go around this outside edge. And I'm gonna tear that off. And just go, give it a nice soft edge. And that's where the water pen or water brush helps you get that nice torn rather than a straight edge with your scissors. It blends but for the most part it just looks better than that straight edge. See that was a little curvy but we'll make it work. So see how I'm just gonna put that? It's just gonna be right in the center. Um, this is decoupage clean papers. So all I'm gonna do is grab um, a brush and I'm gonna use some Mod Podge. And I'm just gonna lay this Mod Podge right here. I'm trying not to, I even wanna get it down in those little bubbles. right a little spring floral so now I'm gonna take some more Mod Podge and I'm just going to go over the paper get right over it because you want to seal those edges down there we go that's perfect so now I'm gonna grab my wax now I feel comfortable doing the wax doing this. I'm just going to slap it. I'm not going to put it on the image just yet. I'm just going to go over this. I'm only going to do a small section at a time because once that starts to set on there, you know, it's kind of, it, it dries and then it's harder to get off. So I'm just going to kind of take this away. And see what a beautiful color that gives. See, I like I love things painted white, don't get me wrong, but I absolutely love it with the wax on there, and that's why I love this bare wax. It goes Okay. So about what we want to do next so our wax is done now I think is what I want to do is I want to take that bling wrap here and I'm gonna cut 
just a single row. With my scissors, I'm just gonna use one row of the bling wrap. All right, so we got the bling wrap and all I'm gonna do is use my glue, hot glue, and I'm gonna start it here in this corner and just lay a thin bead down and use my, my trusty glue knife here, always works like a champ. I'm just gonna lay that down in there, right there, and just kind of press that down. Okay, and then just run some more glue right down here all the way down, almost to the end. Grab a little finger protector here and just press that instead of, and you don't want to swipe because that creates like, like sliding your glue all around the gem, the little bling wrap. So what I like to do is I just like to press. Use the glue. Right to that corner and lay it down and just press it down into the glue rather than swiping. Just press. So see how we have that? We just kind of, now the paper doesn't go all the way. That's fine, I'm not worried about that, but look at how pretty. That's just gonna frame out the inside of that. I'm gonna use my other piece for these sides here. There you go, so we got the bling wrap all the way around that, that inset right there. And see how it looks like little crystals? I'm wondering if we could even do it do you think we should do like, uh, let me see if I have another strip and you guys can tell me, it might actually be kind of pretty if we double it. What do you think? I kind of like it. Let's keep going with it then. I wasn't sure about that. Oh, look at that. I have a piece long. I'd say let's do it. I kind of like it. and pretty. I'll see how sparkly the, the bling wrap is. You can use it for everything. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take my Posh Chalk uh, pigment in this copper color because it looks like rose gold even though they say it's copper. And I already have some in here, but you can see. Well, let me make some. So you, this is like a super fine powder. You take a little dabber do. You don't need a lot. I'm going to throw it in here. don't have the infuser. And I've never tried the Mod Podge before, but it's working just, just fine, y'all. Grab a little bit more. Let's try this. I'm just gonna take a, a, pen, a pencil, a brush, a small brush, and all I wanna do is kinda highlight this detail so let's try the color first to make sure it's good a little bit not but it's not enough to wear and i'm not being too heavy with it i'm almost like putting it on as if it was on my finger and, and i wish i could get some maybe i could pour some into here and i could you know when you're using like rub and buff or whatever i like to use my finger with that it's just you get a little bit more control. Every time I'm on a totally dazzled live, my husband calls me, no joke. I knew it was gonna happen. So I'm just gonna take this on my finger and see if that'll work. It doesn't give it as, as deep of effect. But Go like that. 
even if it gets on some of the flat part of the tray, I don't care. I kind of just want See how it just kind of brought out all that detail? And it does match, believe it or not. Um, we could even take this brush and take this and kind of go even right around here a little bit, right around this paper. Don't be afraid to play around, guys, with different things, you know, to fill in that little where the paper didn't meet all the way. Let's grab a sanding block and just see what happens if we do do that. Like, you can just... Ooh, yeah, see it? Like I said, you can do this tray. Um, you could leave this, you could put candles on it, you could put a crown on it, decorate it up, change it out with the seasons. But, because it's Easter week here at Totally Dazzle, what I want to do is I have this cute little thing right here. And what I was aiming to do to give this an Easter feel is just use this on my, your table, your, uh, how cute is that? With just like this cute little, this cute little vignette, you can put this on your um, table. And that's what I was planning on doing with it. So I have this cute little house. What I was thinking to tie it in with the tray, um, my plan was to take some bling wrap and see these like little dormers here. What do you guys think about just adding some bling wrap? I got a rose gold butterfly I'm gonna add on here. I'm using bling wrap on something a little thicker. I just kind of give it a back and forth motion. You wanna go um, all the way side to side to get your wrap in there and then just lay your wrap down. But don't you think that's gonna be cute? Having that little pop of color here up on this little, this little house. I love this so, so much. Okay, so now, here's what I wanna to do to accentuate this. Here's the little rose gold butterfly. Look at how pretty, look at how pretty the butterflies are. This is in the rose gold. It's just so pretty. Um, and I think what I wanna do is I was gonna put it, I kinda of like it on the wood because then it doesn't get lost. It really stands out on, um, It really stands out on the uh, little fairy house. I just think, see, isn't it so pretty? And if I had another one, I'd stick it up here. So see, you have that, or you could put it over here. And then for the bunny, he's gonna be simple. Um, I got white paint on it. I'll fix it, I'll cover it up with green, or I'll get another one. But this is the side you're gonna be seeing anyway. But I like the raffia bow, so I don't wanna change that. And it's unfortunately it's it's glued on there pretty well but I do want to take my favorite bling bow look at that magnificence right there so that. I'm just gonna glue this I'm just gonna add that right on top of that raffia bow see just because why not because it looks good right and then what I wanted to do is I have this totally dazzled crown. If you guys aren't shopping on their website, you better look at that. Look at how beautiful. And this is a rose gold one, but these come in all different colors too. And I'm going to just hot glue this right up along here. So I'm gonna put glue here at the bottom. And I'm gonna put glue right here along the back. And I'm just going to glue that right there. So see, just a little Easter vignette. Now what I'll probably end up doing 
is you can even add a little bit of some carrots, some cute little, like I would say orange, but maybe some really soft, um, um, like pastel eggs or other little mossy bits. You can even put some moss down here. I don't really want to do that because it'll cover up the florals. But do you see what I'm saying? And then decorate this too with all kinds of other stuff. But I'm thinking what I'd like to do with it is just add, find some cute, I gotta go to Hobby Lobby this week. Find some cute little, you know, like the fairy garden pieces would be really cute now that I'm looking at this. Totally Dazzled sells sparkling rhinestone wedding supplies. Check us out at totallydazzled.com. But before you do, click up here and download our free printable sparkle quotes. Or click down here and watch one of our other awesome tutorials. <laughs>